Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel and Reet here. Hello. And welcome to the Esatina Weekly Mastermind, episode number 14. Yes, welcome everybody. We are the co-founders of Esatino Artists, and we help creative entrepreneurs grow their business online. Uh, we really want to help you step up your marketing, so we provide one-on-one -on -one courses, the tutorials on these on these uh, on this channel, and um, and also one-on-one -on -one coaching as well to help you step up your marketing, grow your business, grow your audience, and make more money doing what you love. So yes, we're so excited to have you guys in here. I already see some comments coming in. So please, as people are, are dropping in, say hi in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And also let us know how was your week, you know? What did you have any wins? Share something cool that happened, um, or maybe something that you just couldn't figure out as well. Please share with us in the comments. All right, so you guys are noticing that we are on the go, we're taking the show yeah. on the go today, and uh, we have prepared a little bit better because you know, before when we did these uh live streams, uh, for whatever reason, you know, the internet battery would like conk out and that kind of thing so this time we actually have a little mini holder that is mounted this thing and we kind of just place it on the, the dashboard here and then we also have the phone a battery pack that is giving it juice live and for the internet problems because we never know what's happening in different areas you think you have good internet and then you don't uh we have this thing which is a uh, portable uh wi-fi device is a portable wi-fi device and uh it allows you to you turn it on and then it connects to the cell towers that are around and then you connect to this and you can use this around the world like we've used this in uh, china in Europe, um, in Germany, in Israel. So we've got two uh, things going on to power us up here in the car. Yeah, I'm just sharing it um, in our group here. Please let us know, you know, with all of that stuff that Jewel just said, please let us know if you can hear us all right, if you can see us all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we tried to, to make the the um out of studio live streams work but you know stuff happens so we've got some starbucks here. here it's an iced pumpkin spice okay latte great. with oat milk cool let's say some hi to let's say hi to some of you guys we've got lisa in the house hi lisa teddy and teddy hello hello lenny Lenny's in the house. Lenny's in the middle of a hike? No, actually. No. We're just out and uh, wanted to take the show on the road, like the antique road show. <laughs> Somewhat. Do you guys know that show? <laughs> the antique road show? There's some cool finds on that show, actually. I know, right? Some really cool finds. Okay. Teddy says his subs are up to 89 <gasps> subscribers. 11 away from 100. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, great job, Teddy. So cool. Love it. We've got Linda. Hello, Linda. How's it going, Linda? Nice to see you again. We've got Ramon. Uh, Ramon says hello from Texas. Doing good. Work is overwhelming, but looking forward to the weekend. Mm. Nice. Yeah, you just started... Um, classes right school let us know guys how your week has been as well um we're just everyone's saying everything is okay. okay sound is good awesome it's okay Whew. we can hear you loud we and passed clear. It. the test here oh good cool we've got roland in the house hey you roland can tube. is this a new channel roland what you can tube oh that's Cool. That's different. It's a fun play on words. Normally, I see the getting it done logo. Um, so that's cool. You can. That reminds me of something. You can tube, like another person's company, right? You can tube. I've never oh, heard of that oh, before, but that's pretty cool. Someone has an uh, their business was like tube something. Oh, I can't remember, but it reminds me of that every time I see that name. And I see we have um, Real Life with Michelle and Rob. They say hello. Hello. There we oh. go. 
the hey, comments are Roland. a little bit lagged. And hello, everyone. Hey, Michelle and Rob. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Roland, there, Roland just switched identities. There we go. Forget we said anything. <laughs> Awesome. It's great to see you guys on here. Um, it's been a busy week for us, like crazy. I know some of you saw the post that Jewel did um, where we reached 35,000 subscribers on this channel, on the Esatino Artist channel, as well as 2,000 subscribers on my Arit Music channel. So it's like so, a double win. Yeah, it's been amazing just reaching those milestones. Um, we're right alongside here with you, grinding, like working to produce more content, putting it out there video by video. Um, and it's been great. Like the, the week as well has been busy in terms of um, service based clients. So they're all like, all of a sudden it's just being like in, in, in the woodwork. It's crazy. Like uh, Camtasia coaching clients, YouTube coaching clients. We literally have like back to back to back, like uh, coaching sessions and it like, mm. it's, it's good. And it's getting busy right now. So we just had one earlier and then we just had another one before that and another one yesterday and then we're going to have another one tomorrow and it's just like it's getting crazy. It's exciting though. I, I like I like it. I like it like this and it's it's important as well to kind of like batch when your your calls or the client work is going to be. So we typically schedule client work from Wednesday to Friday um, so that we at least have you know, Monday and Tuesday to work on some other things because that's really important to be able to like juggle everything at once. In the very beginning, when we start, first started offering one-on-one um, -on -one coaching, YouTube coaching, it would just be like all over the place. Sporadic yeah. almost. And then it was, it was draining. We learned to section them off during the week. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, so it's like, uh, it's so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are when we put those kinds of uh, meeting calls and then like weekends are, you know, doing adventures and usually outdoorsy type stuff and hanging out with our families and stuff. And then um, Mondays, what's usually Monday, just like a kind of an open type of thing? Uh, yeah. For, well, for me, it's like catching up on the important non-urgent stuff, meaning it's not when something's urgent, it's usually like uh, like client work or emails, um, fires that need to be put out. But the important non-urgent stuff is like projects for our business that's going to help our business move forward, like working, um, like working on building a new product or um, putting a landing page up or working on a new course, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's how we section things off. I see some more people jumped on in. I see Dawn. Uh, was it uh, Real Life with Michelle and Rob said Roland invited me. Oh, that's cool. awesome. Thank you, Welcome. Roland for inviting others yeah happy to have you here and then roland says michelle is my friend cool is she also are you guys also canadian let us know or not and are you also a youtuber as well i think so right real life with michelle and rob yeah i, I it's like a vlog channel what kind of channel do you have um, we've got don hey don hello nice to see you as always don and, and john, john we haven't seen you in a while yes nice to see you again john how are you doing how was your week and then um, everyone's saying hello. Oh, Jojo. <gasps> Jojo. Whoa. <laughs> I was just thinking about you the other day and I was like, oh my God, I haven't seen her on the live stream in so long. <laughs> yeah. So amazing to see. I was thinking about you too. <laughs> what? You were? <laughs> yeah. Just randomly. I'm like, I wonder oh, where Jojo's at. I, know, I was like, <laughs> she's okay. <laughs> amazing. Happy to see you on here. How was your week, Jojo? Let us know. Um, Let's real life here. with Michelle and Rob. I guess it's Michelle. Let's just say Michelle's on here. <laughs> Says I have a channel vlog and a little of everything. I'm from Ohio. Cool. Nice, cool. And then Michelle's from Ohio. She had a 100,000 views in the last Sweet. 30 days. Wow. Is there any particular video that's hitting it off? That's killing it right now? Yeah. Or is it just generally like spread across your whole channel and? How often do you release videos? Mm -hmm. Lenny says it's a party. <laughs> yeah. Always a party. I mean, it can be a party with just like three people in the room. We'll still make it a party. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Um, yeah. So if you guys saw the post that I did uh, 
it was it was pretty uh pretty big milestone for us um you know we when you get to a certain point in your business and you know in the post if you guys read it it was basically celebrating 35,000 subscribers and 10 plus thousand dollars earned and made in the last 10 days and to me that means so much no not just because of like you know the monetary value and everything obviously the money's good but you know to think about that's like if you break it down it's like one thousand dollars a day and like back when i had a nine to five job uh, my last job was i was an insurance claims clerk here in downtown vancouver to get ten thousand dollars that would i would need to work like four months because i was only getting like between to like two thousand to two thousand five hundred dollars and forty hours a, a week. month yeah and then like and on top of that like 40 hours a week at a job that you that i absolutely hated and detested so that like really just put things into perspective and like i when we reach these kinds of milestones i often think back to the times when we would pull all-nighters and stay up really late and at times we would be frustrated you know trying to figure out this whole online world what are we doing um how is this going to generate income that whole thing i often get like flashbacks of that and i'm constantly you know grateful for what's happening right now and it's just it it really means a lot in the the support from everyone yeah and in retrospect like looking back at all of those hard grinding days weeks months years um it really like you don't realize it when you're in it when you're in the thick of it but every single thing that you do every mistake that you made every small win that you've earned it all counts it's all bricks upon bricks even the failures Mm -hmm. um it's just like which there are a ton of oh so many and still going with more too right like it's it's all going to matter all of it um and it's important to just continue to remind yourself of that while you're working through something and you're frustrated or stressed out um you know it it all matters it's like stacking stacking those experiences is like planting the seeds to where you want to be in the future the other day i was having a um a chat with roland and we realized that we were in the same network marketing company years ago he was also oh. in Empower. Oh, cool! And I, I was like, that. I was like, what? Have have we not spoken about this before? And we realized that we were both in that company, and you know, we went like all in in that company. And he was in Chicago, in Denver, Colorado, oh, wow. at those events. And it's yeah. like we kind of knew each other in a past life, Roland. That's crazy. Well, we didn't, but there were thousands of people there. But it's so random to know that you know. We were at the same like places uh, years ago, and that was like in 2013 or 14, around there. Definitely more than five years ago for sure. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and that uh, that was a, an example of you know we had uh, joined that company, and not to say anything like bad about it or anything, because it is we accept that that was part of our journey, and although it didn't work out financially. I wouldn't trade that experience because it's led me to where I am right now. And it made me realize what I do need to focus on. And I I talked about this in a video that I made about how do you find your passion? Um, When things don't work out, you can't get upset when they don't work out. You have to take them and learn from them. Like we learned that, okay, that kind of thing and that company was not for us. Um, and we'd learned a lot of like mind skills and being like uh, working the brain and having it's not just knowing the skills. It, you have to have some uh, emotional intelligence. Do you know what I mean? Like, like we mean? worked our mindset. Oh, yeah. Like oh, we, mindset, yeah. we like the oh, confidence comes from in there. Like, I mean, the you, walls that you set are in there. Yeah. And like. The only thing that would have been an ultimate failure is if we stopped altogether. And right? like, yeah. So that... you really do need like to have the tenacity um, and the drive to like just 
just no matter what, you're going to make this work, whatever that, you know, making it work is for you, means for you. Um, I saw some more comments come in, so let's, let's see those here. Um, Michelle says, I did a few videos on Dana Coverstone's dreams. I post almost every day. Wow. What is Dana Coverstone's dreams? Amazing. That Do you, you know post that every day. No. Oh. <laughs> that she posts daily. I don't know what Dana is either. Please let us know. Uh, and then uh, Don says, oh, Michelle, I will check out your channel. I can always use uh, help with different ways to blog slash vlog. Amazing. Yeah. Subscribe to each other, uh, to each other, guys. If something, you know, if you see something that entices you, just check out each other's channels. And this is why we create these. Like we want you guys to support each other as well. Um, Michelle, uh, you got, you can um, join our Facebook group. It's free. And like, let everybody know what your channel is about when you join the group. Yeah, feel free to introduce yourself. Um, there are over 700 cr uh, creative entrepreneurs, members, all Almost different types 800. of entrepreneurs. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's so cool. It's crazy. Um, yeah, and the link is scrolling down on the bottom there below. Hey, Phil, how's it going? Phil, how's it going? Yeah. Sorry if you guys, uh, if I'm all zoomed up here, it's because I need to lean forward to. And Nicole, hello, hello. Oh. Hey, Nicole, how's it going? And then, um, Roland, hopefully it's not cutting out. Roland says, um, yes, we learned to grind and accept it. Um, and Michelle says, Dana Coverstone is having dreams about what is going to happen in the U.S. the next few months. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, nice and just a bunch of people saying hello to each other. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, we also wanted to um, announce that we've got a contest happening in the Creative Business Success Facebook group, which the the name of the Facebook group is right down there below. <laughs> Sorry, um, there's like some major sunshine here. There you go. Oh, does that help? There you go. There hey. you go. Uh, sorry, the post is down in the description below. And we are, we did a poll and we asked the people what, uh, you know, what prizes they would be interested in. And we gave a list of some stuff. And uh, the top two, which were pretty close, was uh, the one year free subscription to Masterclass. And if you don't know what Masterclass is, it's basically like a Netflix, um, but it's like, people who are at the top of their field teaching classes so for instance well known names. in cooking gordon ramsay it mm -hmm. has two classes on cooking like where else can you learn cooking from gordon ramsay other than him teaching you personally but like this is like the next best thing type thing and they there's all different kinds of genres um there's people in acting, um, yeah, film, design, music, uh, uh, writing. Um, so you can learn from well-published authors, um, science and technology as well. Advertising. Um, a lot of people who are very, very well accomplished. Yeah, they uh, masterclass has done a great job of uh, collaborating with them and doing classes with these uh, these people, and they're not just like like you know being interviewed or a podcast or anything like that there's actually tangible stuff in there that you can learn from and and get and uh, like sarah blakely's uh, mm. business course wow that one was probably the best one for me so far she's a founder of spanx by the way if you don't yeah. know um yeah she her her um course is on just being a, a self-made entrepreneur basically and, her and how, how she took spanx from like literally just her An idea cutting I think she was cutting lingerie her own lingerie and then like yeah. bringing it to a billion dollar company yeah some really cool stuff in there so we have um we're doing the contest where there's two prizes one of them is a full year of subscription master to masterclass and the other one is a one hour coaching call with us um feel free to talk about whatever you want ask us any questions you've got it an idea just... if you want to be like how do I um work like how do I I have a YouTube channel how do I make money from it you know yeah it doesn't just have to be about YouTube like it could be anything so two prizes two winners and um it's it's starting now we're running the contest I, now I just posted it yeah so if you're not a member of our 
create a business success Facebook group, please join. That's the link slash name there scrolling down on the bottom. And, um, and to enter, all you need to do is on that first post there, just comment on the post with what's one thing that you'd like to learn that will help you grow your business. That's it. Yeah. And then you're entered. Super simple, super easy. So we're going to take all of your comments and your names and do the draw on September 24th in our weekly live stream like this at 6 p.m. PST. JoJo says, I've been so busy, but had Monday uh, Labor Day uh, tonight off, so I'm so very happy. Oh. I have missed you all so much. Likewise, well, thank JoJo. you for, you know, on your day off, like taking the time to come and still hang out with us. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate it. Amazing. So happy to see you here, JoJo. Um, Michelle, is, uh, Roland says Michelle's videos on DNA are going viral. She hit that on that trend mm. and is taking full advantage of it. Exactly. When you hit upon those, go for it because, um, you know, it's, it's a trend for a reason. It doesn't last forever. Like when, with our Etsy trend, it, when we were doing our Etsy videos, it totally mm -hmm. spiked up. And then when the pandemic hit, it totally like tanked. And then other videos spiked up. So when those spiked up, then we hit up those ones. And then um, they're still going strong right now. And our Etsy videos are starting to pick back up as people get back into things, get back into the swing of things. But yes, pay attention to your stats um, constantly. Not, not every single moment, but like, you know, pay attention to a rise of a video and what's happening with that. And um, obviously, if it's something that you want to create videos on, then just go all out in go different aspects. Yeah, it's going to really help your channel grow. Um, Roland also says her other videos are getting more views as well because she's getting better at everything. And so funny. Cool. Nice. Well, we'll have to check out your channel, Michelle. We will definitely check your channel out and uh, and subscribe to it as well. Um, Dawn says... The trailers for Masterclass look amazing. Yeah, Masterclass as a company, uh, they're really good at production. They're really good at um, extracting the information from mm -hmm. the you know said instructor and formatting everything. And it's not it's not too showy. Like it's like I feel like I'm actually sitting in a class like learning. Yeah, it's amazing. Like you're learning from these different celebrities and it's just, you get to know them more. You get to see like the real them because they're just literally talking to you in a video. Like straight up. And know, it's like, none of this showy like kind of stuff or, you know. Like, you know, on, on talk shows. Yeah. It's so like fluff and like. Yeah, yeah. That it's, kind of thing. <laughs> it's really, it's so cool. And they have like, um. Uh, workbooks and PDFs and resources that you could also download with each uh, with each course. And they sometimes do a live Q&A on Instagram. Like with, with the actual person. Yeah, with the actual um, professor. So that's so cool. Hello, Jerry. I see your comment here. Hey, Jerry. How nice are you doing? You. How was your week, Jerry? And then um, Don says, oh, my God, can't lose. That is so kind of you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, like, we love doing these kinds of contests. Like, I'm always trying to think of more stuff to bring in for you guys to just share. Because, like, we're, we feel so grateful for the life that we live. And we just want to give as much as we can. And we also want to make it fun. Like, there's, there can be a lot of, um, you know, stress with, like, going after your dream and, you know, building what you want and, and that kind of thing. Um and it can be isolating as well. Oh, yeah. But we want to like inject some fun into it. And I think doing these contests is a cool way to do that. Because um, if you've been watching our videos, like, you know, like that's kind of the vibe that we are. It's like creativity, business, online business and fun. Um, and that's just what the energy that we want to spread. And like the reason why we're doing this whole thing and like have this creative business Facebook group and we do all these videos and all that is because when we were first starting out in 2010, which, uh, you know, now it's like, it's so popular to do social media and to be an entrepreneur. But in 2010, it was like, it was still oh, very traditional. Sorry, that was Sorry, distracting. That was me, yeah. <laughs> I was just making sure there's no other comments on Facebook that aren't coming in. It was still very traditional business. 
uh, you know, corporate world type thing. And it has changed so much since then. And I remember when we first started, we felt very alone and like uh, the underdog because we would go to these networking things and we were, you know, these two young girls and like people didn't really take us seriously at the time. And now it's like, there's a ton of young people that are yeah. doing business. I know your friends and family back, our friends and family back then were like, what? Yeah. Like, why are you You're doing not going to have a job? What? You didn't go to business school. What yeah. are you doing? <laughs> but now everyone has some sort of like side hustle or entrepreneurial thing that they're wanting to pursue, which is cool. And Roland says, I hope my luck changes for the contest. I know <laughs> you, you enter in every single time persistence Roland you will get it one of these times I know you will right it's only a matter of time the odds are in your favor yeah we always say that when we draw for the names may the odds be ever in your favor <laughs> the hunger games yeah um let's see Jojo says where are you going or coming from why are you in the car so we're just we just want to switch it up first of all but we're also gonna go eat dinner after this so, um, yeah, that's we've why just we been just... having like a lot of video coaching calls and just being inside all day and yeah. just want to get some outdoors, doors, outdoors <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> as you, I, I don't know if you guys know, but like in Vancouver, right. It is September and any moment it can be cold and winter mm -hmm. at any day. And you'll just be like, Whoa, what happened? The summer's gone. And then it all of a sudden it's fall the leaves are brown and then it just changes so quickly so we're just trying to get as many outdoor moments as we can before the rain hits in because um they call vancouver raincouver and it's like it actually lives up to the name is true yeah <laughs> when it gets to be fall because right now it's supposed to be fall but it ain't <laughs> it's really hot right now so we we've, we've prepared this time we've got a uh battery pack powering the live stream right now and we've got the portable internet going so that we don't conk out on the internet like we did a couple of times before. Lesson so learned. this is TEP Wireless and this allows you to have internet um, around the world. So you have to like get a, um, it's a pay per use subscription. And so like like our, our payment is like on file or whatever. And then whenever we turn it on, you pay a flat fee for internet for the day and I believe it's like eight dollars 95 cents type thing and then you have internet uh, pretty much for the whole day I can't remember how many gigs it was but it was enough gigs and whenever we travel we we bring this around so I've used this in China Super Israel helpful. Netherlands Germany where else do we go Netherlands, Germany. Israel. I can't remember. Oh, all. UK, London. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I use this at uh, Stonehenge. Oh, so. yeah, yes. We love Tep Wireless. We use it everywhere. Uh, John says, I was having I was having a network problem in my area, but the problem has been fixed recently. That's why I haven't been online frequently. Couldn't start my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Well, glad it's up and running right now. Yeah. Um, it sounds like that's that's been fixed. Um, you said you completed your YouTube channel for our YouTube channel course Oops. and received a certificate. I've learned a lot about starting my YouTube channel. Amazing. Nice. That's so cool. Well, you know, good luck on your YouTube journey. And as always, like if you have any questions or anything, uh, put them in the Facebook group. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. And then and hello, DK. DK says hello. Oh, oh I didn't see that one. There. Um, yeah, it didn't come through on here. And... Phil says, uh, I spent a lot of time this week trying to make videos. I think next week I'll take a rest so I don't burn out. Yes, that is the key here. Definitely you don't do want to get to severe burnout as many YouTubers do. So as soon as I start feeling like a slight burnout, I go, okay, I need to just take a moment, relax, and rest and just do the complete opposite of what is stressing me out or burning me out and just um you know take the mind off of it because um yeah you don't want to get to that point um where yeah. it gets to severe burnout because then you like 
you end up hitting your channel. Well, it can, it, yeah, it, it can stack upon each other and just spiral. And then with you're anything, like, not just YouTube, you don't like, want to touch it or procrastinate with it. So, um, yeah, I like definitely take that, that time off to reset. I usually love working out. That always works for me, like doing some sort of workout or just taking a day to just do whatever, whatever I want, basically, like just chill out and, um, and then get back right into it. I remember in our first year of entrepreneurship, uh, you know, you have certain stereotypes of what you think, uh, how it should go. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the literally in the first year, uh, I did not allow myself to have any fun, like no fun, no going out anywhere, no hanging out with friends. I literally cut that off. Uh, no, at the time, like clubbing was still in, in the... in in the mix and I wasn't doing that anymore. I literally cut out everything and would stay in this office um, that we had in downtown Vancouver and just work in the middle of the night, every night and not interject any fun. And I would feel bad if I had fun. I I would actually feel bad. And it got to the point of like an actual kind of mental breakdown. And I was like, this is not how it's supposed to go. Like I can't, be like that like you can't just be like all business and no fun I think that's that's important to know is that we're all learning from others right we're all learning from people that we look up to that we watch their videos we read their books and that kind of thing but and they're saying to do certain things whether it's like hustle harder and like all this kind of stuff but if that doesn't work for you it's okay. Like it's okay if something has worked for someone else, but not necessarily for you. Yeah. You need to find, you need to kind of take that skeleton that you've learned that's true across multiple people you've learned from in terms of growing a business online, but then make it your own. Like, you know, whatever, whatever you need to do that will keep your energy maintained throughout the day, super important. Um, keep you productive And productive can mean taking a day off too, you know, Mm -hmm. Um, that will keep you clear, clear on your goals and, um, and just, you know, continuously growing, Um, put those things into, into your, your week, you know, even though some other person might say it doesn't work for them. I know a lot of people try to be like Gary Vaynerchuk Mm because he literally does not need a vacation or, uh, really very much fun he does like football games but uh a lot of people try and be like him and be you know just hustle 24 7 type thing Mm -hmm. but you got to find what method works for you and for me that method did not work at all I need to have I need to check out I need to travel I need to um go and do different activities so that's something that you need to find out with your own workflow it's not the same for everybody yeah Roland says, they didn't take the old guy seriously either. (laughs) It's Uh, a late reaction to your comment, Roland, but nonetheless, still, that was funny. Uh, Lenny says, when do you expect snow? So snow happens here in different areas, particularly in Vancouver. It does not snow very much, and it could happen in November or December, and it might not. Um, because we're here in the city but if you're talking about like Whistler or Kelowna which are more up north yeah more in the wooded areas in the uh, mountains then it well. snows like right away like in in Whistler especially because that's like a ski resort so it can snow but it's like two hours away from here like last year I don't know if this was last year but a previous year it snowed so much in February yeah, in February, so close to spring. It's a mixed bag. Of, yeah, and you never, you never know. really know. December to February is what I would say. We're guaranteed rain, but <laughs> <laughs> all year round. <laughs> uh, Jojo says, "Good for you. Make the most of the good days when it's possible." Mm-hmm. Uh, old man Minecraft says, "Hey girls, hey, how's it going? Are Hello. you a new viewer to the the weekly episodes here?" And then uh, John says, I want to know, for example, if I have selected Dubai as my location on my YouTube assigned for monetization and later travel to another country, how am I going to continue with my monetization program? 
So, like, you're going to move to a different country? Is that the question? I think that's what he means, yeah. I think that's... I believe that okay. most... You can just ch- have it changed, right? Yeah, I believe yeah. that you can change your uh, Google AdSense uh, address. And I, most of the countries are all in there, mostly. Yeah, it's okay. You're you're able to change your country in there and still have it, you know, still have it paying you out. Um, Phil says, good advice, ladies. Great advice. Yeah, awesome. don't, don't get to that kind of burnout. Yeah. Or you just, like, want to check out. You know, another thing that um, I think would be good to answer is, like, we've been getting the same question over and over again from a lot of people. What? The question of how do I decide how much free content to give away? Oh, yeah. Versus, like, keep, you know, versus paid content. Yeah. So we've been having um, some coach, uh, yeah, coaching client calls. And one of the first things that they start saying is, how much uh, free content do I give? I mean, like, I don't want to give too much because I want it to be the paid stuff. And then, um, you know, there's this uh, battle between the free and the paid. Mm -hmm. And from our experience, um, we are not afraid to give free value. In fact, we pretty much give all the free value. Like, if you wanted, you could go on our YouTube channel and find, like, all the videos and, like, piece them together. And that's, like, the whole thing. Now, that's the free information. Uh, sorry, I have like a sun beard happening right now. Okay. I have a halo. <laughs> Which one would you prefer? <laughs> um, as for the paid, people will pay when they get connected to you and they want to know, they want to learn from you personally. So don't be afraid to give free value. I'll take example. I always like using Gary as uh, an example because he is the, the one of the perfect examples in my opinion. He rarely ever, ever sells. He only sell. he sold like once or twice, like a year. But in, for the most part, he's just giving, he's just always giving out information. And he's always saying the same things in different ways. People are always asking him the same questions, Mm -hmm. but he, he gives so much value that when he does drop something, for instance, like if he has a new shoe with K-Swiss, which, by the way, an entrepreneur has never had their own shoe before. He's always pushing the boundaries. Uh, people will line up and get this shoe. Or when he had um, Empathy Wines, which was his wine subscription company that he wanted to start. Mm-hmm. And that's like one of the two things that I know that he charges for. But even then, he doesn't like he gives and gives and gives and like do not be afraid to give free value to people yeah I think focusing on on that question of like oh how much do I give and then how, what do I keep to sell and that kind of thing is focusing on the wrong thing like it's 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 almost like focusing on competition and there will always be competitors right it's like you don't want to focus on that you want to really focus on giving valuable quality content where you're helping people solve problems or, you know, giving solutions to certain issues that your target audience has and just focus entirely on that. Um, Don't think about like, oh, if I, if I say this in the video, they might not buy my online course Um, because people buy online courses, like for so many other reasons, like it's not just the content itself, right? But it's also the it's organization, the, energy, the person. It, yeah. And it's the organization of the lectures where everything is there step by step, what to do. It's access to the instructor. So you have, you know, more access to them. Um, and it's just an organized way of learning, right? Um, so even if they're learning the same thing from the video, it's, it's okay. Like you, you leave the decision up to them basically. Um, and yeah, we don't, we don't necessarily think about that. We just give in our tutorials and we just, with the expectation that like, it'll come, like if the money comes, it comes, which is great. So, um, as long that's kind as, of our strategy, as long as you are providing full value, like without, um, what do you call it? Like, I know some people on YouTube like to do like a teaser thing and then be like, if you, um, want the next step by my course type thing Mm. but like 
I mean, as long as you honestly give free value and you do your soft sell at the end and being like, if you like these kinds of videos, you guys, and you want like a little bit more training on it, check out the description below and you guys can buy the course and, and have it in sequential order and that type of thing. Yeah, our content is very bite-sized tutorials, right? Bite-sized videos. And then if you want to learn more, you can get our course. So that's kind of how we how we market on YouTube and and it's worked well for us. Everyone has different methods. Yeah. That's exactly. the thing that's the thing with online. There's no one way. There's literally like a million ways to make money. You just need yes. to find the way that you like to make money. Which is good news. <laughs> good news that there's a million ways to make money. Yeah. I'm um, just looking at the comments. John here. says I want to know what Are we back? Are we back? Yeah, let us know. I'm just going to type in here. Did we make it through that? Please let us know if we made it through. Uh, commenting, commenting. We are back. Is it streaming for you guys? <laughs> are we live? Let us what know. happened there? Okay, yes, I see you. Okay, good. <sighs> okay. Oh, man. It's so unpredictable when you do this rogue setup. I thought we were prepared. I know. We had, like, the charger, the battery. I don't thanks, know what. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. Yeah. That's really cool that the majority <laughs> of you are still here. That's amazing. Oh, man. Okay. Let's go back. To, I saw right. some questions okay. come in. <laughs> You should have heard us when it went out. We're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where were we? Um, 
Uh, John, that. okay. Yeah. Um, John was saying, uh, which medium does YouTube pay for monetization program? I only know of the one, I, well, actually, maybe it's two. So for US people, they, they do, a, you can link up your bank and then they do direct deposit. But we are in Canada, so we actually, um, oh no, actually, we get direct deposit. Sorry, that was Amazon. Sorry, I was getting confused by the different companies. We get direct deposit into our bank account and it it's, um, gets converted into Canadian. So the those amounts that I show in our YouTube videos of our earnings, uh, that's actually the US amount. And then that gets converted into Canadian at whatever the currency rate. Awesome. So direct deposit, if you're in, uh, I don't know which countries, but I do believe that they do also send checks. I remember they used to send checks in the beginning. Uh, I see a question Lance, from Lance. It says, how would you market a video editing slash overlay business that you are attempting to start? Mm. How would you market a video editing so slash the, overlays business? So the first thing I would ask is, um, do you have a portfolio that you could show to people? So do you have samples of your work that's ready to go? Uh, if someone, if you happen to talk to someone who needs that kind of work, um, you need to be able to send them a link or send them at the very least, if you don't have your website up or, or anything like that just yet, then you can put your stuff like in, um, in a Dropbox or Google Drive folder at the very least and just have a bunch of stuff in there so that people can look at. But you want to, in the future, actually have um, a nice portfolio to show. Uh, and then it's like, think about who needs video editing services, who needs what you're offering, right? Um, you you want to be, I'm assuming you like that would be, entre it could be entrepreneurs, it could be YouTubers who just want to like um, outsource the, their, their video editing. We've had some of those clients too. And it's like, they just, they don't want to handle the video production themselves. They just want to give it to someone. Um, to edit for them so that it's ready to go to upload. So you want to think about all these things. Um, if you've had a client already, uh, so you've had some success, then, um, then you know, pay attention to those clues. Like, what type of business were they? What worked with them? You could even ask them as well um, for a testimonial that you can then showcase. Because the thing is, when you're first starting out, anything that can get you that can add to your credibility, that can, that you could be like, hey, this is my work. Hey, this is a happy testimonial from a client. Um, you know, anything like that, if you're featured somewhere, that all counts. Um, and it's it's just a snowball to, to get started with, right? So, um, I mean, there's lots. There's there's so many different ideas that, that we could give you, but I think that would be a good start is to make sure you have a portfolio and hang out where the where your audience, your targeted audience would be. And just be open to, to offering your services. You know, if someone's expressing um, frustration with video editing, just be like, hey, I can help you out. You know, don't like, try not to do like hard sells and spamming. Um, people don't like that. I'm seeing, I'm being... You're blocked out. <laughs> I'm sun. blocked out by the sun. Um, yeah. Whenever people ask like, how should I market xyz business there we go my answer nine times out of ten is usually start a youtube channel on that business and show people how to do what you're doing create tutorials on um your video editing how you are getting that in your video editing how you're doing that part in your video editing um the overlays um, that you're doing, how do you, how did you create those? And I know it's like, wait, I want people to pay me to do it. The thing is when you show people how to do it, they end up wanting to pay you to do it. Yeah. It's the exact same thing with my Camtasia tutorial videos. I have, I think close to 200 or more than 200 Camtasia tutorials. And I get people that ask me to edit their videos for them even though I've just they've just watched a video of me do showing them how to edit themselves they would rather just pay me to do it yeah um, even though they've just searched for that 
and it's not just um same goes for for example um i have a tutorial on how to make a pdf fillable with adobe acrobat mm -hmm. i'm it's a it's it's not viral viral but it has like i don't know 100 or 200 thousand views and it's just me showing people how to make a pdf fillable and i get inquiries from usually other um businesses other uh what do you call it um businesses in the traditional aspect who just want to outsource it out and they're like hey i saw your youtube video on about you making the pdf fillable can i just pay you to do it yeah and it's like yeah you can like you know <laughs> sure. so when you show people how to do things they want to hire you too so and you can do your sort of soft sell at the end of it like you know your video editing show like a specific thing on how to do something really cool different and then at the end of it you can say you know if you have like a course or if you want to be hired one-on-one -on -one, or if they just want to offload the whole thing and then have you do it you just say that at the end of the videos and you'd be like okay so that's how you do that kind of an effect on your video if you guys want to um, fast track your learning on this, I've got a course on how to use this specific video editing software. Um, if you want to hire me to train you one on one, or if you just want want me to take it off your hands altogether, then you can hire me to edit your entire video. So yeah. and just like, yeah, but like and it just makes it so much easier to ask for those things yeah. after you've given free value. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. the whole point. And as well, when you're teaching in, in the form of a video or just a post in general, when people are learning from you, it's an easy way to gain influence over over that person um, because they see you as a resource. So, um, yeah, great, great advice. Um, Phil says, I got an email from a company this week asking if I would like a free video Ooh, product to review on my cool. channel which was surprising it's not surprising it's not Phil. it's not it's, surprising you're gonna get more of those phil it'll just it'll keep coming in and when you start doing review videos you're gonna get even more people being like hey you review this thing yeah. i'll give it to you for free and then eventually after you get a feel for those start charging for those videos start um charging people to review your video because it is you know work and you should be compensated for it so yeah um you don't need thousands of subscribers to start charging for a sponsored video by the way yeah. either so keep that in mind like as long as you've gotten the hang of it um and um you know you can provide a great video with a lot of quality content for that company you can charge a small fee to, to post that video up on your channel but uh, yeah, that's the first of many to come, though. Cheeks of Product Patrol, he started reviewing things around his home. And then, because he's a review channel, and he gets so many free, crazy products. It's really unbelievable, the stuff that he gets for free. Some are not so great, but some, some things are really cool. And it's like, whoa, you got that for free, and you got paid to do that video? Yeah. Super cool. I'm just scrolling past all of the, oh, no, where did you go? And then, yay, we see you now. <laughs> that whole thing um it's just part of the live stream game yeah and <laughs> roland says you guys always come back <laughs> so <laughs> only when ones that always come back <laughs> you know we just love hanging out with you guys eddie jr hey Hello. eddie what's good y'all oh. a lot a lot how was your week eddie Three. i'm oh, sorry um Roland says, Uri, will you do more t tutorials about Snappa? Snappa? Do you mean Design Hill? <laughs> I, I don't know how I equated Snappa to Design Hill, but I just thought, like, <laughs> design stuff. <laughs> Is that what you mean? Like, um, the tool that I showed the other week that you can create Snappa. all kinds of social media tutorials and stuff, or social media graphics, rather? <laughs> Let me know. Roland says, oh my god, I enjoy editing. Roland, you enjoy all the rare stuff that most <laughs> YouTubers do not. I know. You enjoy SEO and you do enjoy video editing. Those are the top two things that people want to outsource. Yeah. Um, Michelle says, I have made a few things for some people. That's cool, you know? Like, that's cool when you can, it starts to naturally happen like that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Scrolling, scrolling. 
think we've gone through it. What the heck is Snappa? <laughs> yeah, let me know, Roland. Um, Design Hill is what you meant. Okay, good. I was like, oh, what app is that? You know, like Roland knows about some app we don't know. I don't know how I knew what you meant, but nonetheless, yes, there will be um, another uh, tutorial coming out this following Wednesday uh on how to design youtube thumbnails with design hill and for those of you who don't know um design hill is an online tool it's free to use it's loaded with pre-made templates um stock images that you can use icons shapes all this kind of stuff that you could easily put together different social media graphics um it's kind of like a canva so uh yeah so and that that one's coming out on wednesday design hill's free though canva is yeah well, Canva's free, but then there's certain paid elements that you'll, uh, they have like those little gem things that you need to upgrade for good quality stuff. But Design Hill's already loaded with uh, great quality templates and stock stock images to use. Oops. Linda says, I love to edit as well. Yep, I love to edit as well as well. Oh my God, it smells really good. I know, there's someone doing Barbecue. like a barbecue thing right now. That distracted me. Uh, Eddie says, my week was good. Any particular wins that you had? Was there something that you accomplished, got done? Mm -hmm. What were some of the wins that we had? Oh, man. There's reaching those milestones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, reaching subscriber milestones. Um, getting, yeah, like we said, this week has been really good in terms of getting more uh, design clients. So I design PDFs, different social media graphics. Um, and also, uh, we've been doing good in terms of upselling our design services along with our YouTube coaching. So we do one-on-one -on -one private coaching. There's four sessions um, to really like help someone from scratch or where like it might be a dead channel even. They might have a channel, but it needs resuscitating to to growing that channel to having a solid plan in place solid publishing schedule what content are you going to publish and when what does that look like what is your setup how do you do seo how do you title description tags all that kind of stuff and then um so we've kind of been packaging that as well along with um doing like a new youtube banner um for our clients or youtube thumbnails so you know, look for these opportunities too, guys. I was just going to say, like, if you're, you have certain strengths um, in certain areas and see if you can pair them up in certain ways that you never thought before. And, you know, we were chatting about um, how I was doing that post where it was like $10,000 made in 10 days. Mm -hmm. And we were, Arit was doing the percentages of what percentage of that was affiliate sales, passive income, and what percentage was uh, service based and that kind of thing. And it was mm. kind of like, it was kind of like half, half. And I was like, I like it like that. Like if I was just sort of stepping back and thinking as I do often. And I was like, you know, I don't think I would want that whole thing to be completely passive and completely yeah. affiliate and hands off. Because we like interacting with people. We like also doing service-based stuff as well, as well as getting passive. So that's why we have the multiple streams of income. And I liked that, that, you know, it's not... Because we, I mean, for example, uh, with uh, Merch by Amazon, that was all pretty much, like, passive. passive and yeah. we weren't as connected to it, you know, and we kind of... And stepped back from it and everyone's different like some people want like a fully passive online income um, yeah they business. just they just don't want to interact with anybody but it was just so cool to see that it was actually like set up half and half like that like out of the the um so we made jewel did a post where uh she said that we made i don't remember the exact number it was like over ten thousand dollars in the last 10 days and 30 percent of that was from design work so, you know, designing all kinds of PDFs, sales, funnels, landing pages, websites, social media graphics. 15% of that was with our one-on-one -on -one coaching services that we offer, YouTube coaching. And Camtasia coaching. And Cam yeah, and Camtasia video editing lessons. 
and the rest, so that's 45% service-based, right? And the rest um, was passive income. So meaning passive, so uh, the ad revenue from the YouTube channel, affiliate income, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's it's really cool that it, it just kind of happened that way, that that's like what we've been vibing out is that we want like half, half. And, and we don't want one or the other. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't think I would want it 100% service I don't be one on one type thing and I don't totally. want it one hundred percent completely hands off. Absolutely. Yeah. And it really depends on, on like how, what you like. Lisa says good night everyone. I'm oh, going to bed. Uh, night, so I can Lisa. get to work. Uh I'll be there next Thursday. Have a good night um and be safe. Thank you so much Lisa for showing Amazing. up. We really appreciate it. Have a good night Lisa and um if you want to remember to join the um the Facebook group so you can enter in the contest the giveaway yeah. that we're doing. Old man Minecraft says Camtasia editing is fun. I'm a better fan of editing. Nice. <laughs> Um, I just checked Snappa is another graphic design site. It's in my email, oh. so apparently I have an account there. Glad mm. we clarified that. I thought you made that word up, Roland. <laughs> uh, Cam, um, Roland says, I love Camtasia. Every time I learn a new feature, I'm like kid at Christmas. I know. I love when they, they drop new features, um, when they release a new version. I'm like, oh my God, what are the new features? Circular video. <laughs> Um, outdoors charging that has piqued your interest now. <laughs> what? <laughs> we might have missed something when we when we uh when it conked out with the Wi-Fi. Uh, Lenny says, "Do you need to register a business for a POD store?" I don't think so. So there are a lot of people who are doing it as a sole proprietor. Yeah, exactly. Like we registered a separate business when we were doing that um, because we have we, we had another third, person. Yeah, we had a third partner. So we registered it as a partnership. Um, and we didn't do it right away either. Um, so we were working on our business and uploading stuff. And uh, it was only until we got to a certain point that we actually registered. So I think you can, you know, we don't give like any official advice on that or anything, but um, I think it's okay to do it as a sole proprietor. And then like, you know, you can I, register. Yeah. I know that there are tons of people that are just doing like a one man show type thing. They just yeah. sign up and then just for print on demand, like yeah. for those websites and stuff. Yeah. Like Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, Teespring. And that's a really great question for um, Fernando, who you might have remember seeing on our channel, Lenny. Um, he's the, the Etsy print on demand Shopify, Shopify. guy. Um, and we are planning on having him back on this channel and okay. interviewing him. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. And I'll remember to ask him that question too. Linda says, I've been com commissioned for a wedding bouquet, mm. something different. Lol. I used to work in a greenhouse with flowers and plants. This one is in silks. Oh, good video. I was so cool. You know, Linda, just, like before I, I was, as I was reading this, I was going to say to you to do a video, to do a video yeah. on that. Yes. Leverage. Look for forms of leverage. If but you're you already, already creating it, do a video. Yeah. You got it. You're thinking you on the same know. wavelength. Um, I didn't think about charging the Jojo. So it gives me something new to think about. Are we talking about like cell phone chargers or what are we talking about? chargers i'm not sure it's <laughs> probably a comment we missed earlier uh, but so, I, portable I'm, cell phone chargers. i'm glad people are getting new ideas from, <laughs> from each other that's that's awesome that's what i want to hear uh roland says doesn't camtasia come out with a discount <laughs> price soon <laughs> yeah um wait they they did come Black out Friday. with one huh? well the thing is i don't a lot of companies are foregoing black friday because of the craziness oh uh, Can't so do it online. like, like online Amazon sale. completely ditched their prime day and all that kind of stuff. Right. And, yeah. uh, they totally changed it up. So yeah. I don't, usually there is like a black Friday Christmas, um, deal. Um, I do have a contact at Camtasia, so I will email him if you would like me to, mm. to find out. <laughs> Lenny says... Uh, you just come up with a brand name or you use yours. So for POD, um, it like for 
for Etsy, I would say that we came up with one. I would say that for Etsy, it's good to come up with a brand name because everything on Etsy is all about trust with your buyers and with the platform itself. So if you are, if you, you know, you have an official brand, you have like, um, you're about written up and everything like that, everything looks cohesive and, and that kind of thing, then um, that's, that's what people want to see, the potential buyers on Etsy. For like merch, um, merch by Amazon, Merch by Amazon, uh, no, there was need something like that. There was no thing. Yeah, as far as I remember, I I don't remember doing anything like that because it was all under Amazon. Like it was all just like Amazon selling all that stuff. So you pretty much just upload the designs. And like for for Teespring, sorry for Redbubble. Yeah, I believe you you do enter like some sort of store name, but it's like this doesn't really need to be registered. You just like. Yeah, people just enter in like a name. Yeah, those those two platforms, Redbubble and um, yeah, Merch, like not so much. Etsy, yes, is but and also if you have your own Shopify store, um, yeah, you'll need to to have a brand for that. Uh, Phil says charging for the review of a product. Oh, okay, so it's not portable cell phone chargers. Okay, <laughs> way off. I know. Um, yeah, you, I know a lot of people. The same thing with uh, Cheeks or Product Patrol. I was like, Cheeks slash Steve, uh, <laughs> you have 10,000 subscribers. Why are you not charging? Yeah. And they're like, do you think that you would want, do you think that they would want to pay? And I was like, dude, you're doing them a favor by unboxing and reviewing the product. They need this more than you do. Yeah. And, you know, start off at a base price, you know. Um, sometimes you do need to feel out the company, obviously. Sometimes they're super startup and they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So you do need to like play around with that. But, uh, we actually, um, sent Cheeks a, um, sort of like an email template on how we get charge, how we charge for a, a a sponsored product video. Mm -hmm. And it's all how you frame it and align it and how you are going to provide the value but they are going to pay for it and it's just all in that kind of a structure so I should probably do a video on something like that that would be a great video yeah because it also depends too like um how we get if you have an affiliate link if they give you an affiliate link and you can earn commissions yeah like so if they give you free product structure we try this is the trifecta they give you free product they pay you for the video and you can use an affiliate link. Yeah. That's what you're striving for. It's That's what you're striving for or some version of that if you can't get all three, right? I know. Try and get a video idea, though. Trifecta. Thanks, Phil. Um, we've got here Gavin in the house. Hey, Hello, Gavin. Gavin. Uh, what's your advice in regards to charging people for a website service? How to get clients interested in website services so like website design yeah so you gotta first of all be clear be very very clear on what website services means um and not just like website design be even more clear than that like what are you going to help them do like are you going to help them figure out what pages they need? Are you going to take care of graphics for their website? Are you gonna take care of integrations, setting up like email opt-in if that's what they want? Like you gotta hash out all of these details and be super clear. Um, So uh, that's like, that's where you gotta start is clarify your product. What is your offering? And like, yeah, like um, website service, cause it's, it's quite vague and there's a ton of people that are offering a lot of vague stuff and you want to be as clear as possible so that you can find that exact customer yeah and be a resource for people like we we answered that question about um video editing this there was another guy asking about video editing um how to start a video editing business be a resource for people like help them learn more about what it what's the what's the advantage of having a great looking website you know what is the what's the purpose behind that um and and teach them different things um that they didn't know and that could be in the form of posts on social media platform or video having starting your channel um 
you yeah john you already started your channel so that would be like great content to create videos on is just touching upon certain aspects of of web design another uh this is kind of pretty much the same strategy that i say to people all the time and when back when we were going to networking meetings here in vancouver there was always a web designer or a website person that would be like, I'm a web designer, web developer. How do I market my services? Because there was always um, in networking uh, meetings, there's always like a section where people can stand up and ask questions and stuff mm -hmm. about like help for their business. And I guarantee like, like this was the same thing over and over again. Every week that we would go to these is there was an abundance of web designers and website people, but they don't know how to get themselves out there. And I always raise my hand and I always tell them, start a YouTube channel teaching people the different aspects of setting up a website. What, what are you using? Like WordPress. And if you're going to specialize in WordPress, go deep and create all these little mini tutorials on how to do that on WordPress, how to add widgets, Why how, to, use WordPress? how to do the update and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then at the end of the video, you always say, you know, um, if you guys want to hire me, I can do this uh, for you. I have X amount of years of experience. Here's also a link to the description is my portfolio. You know, that kind of a thing. Think about the problems that people have when they're wanting to come to you for website design, right? It might be like, oh, they ha have a really outdated website um, or they, you know, they're having trouble updating something on the website. So if you're creating certain tutorials on how to do these things, you're attracting that target audience, that type of person to want to be able to just, you know, if they want to hire you to get it done, then that's, that's, that might be much easier for them to do. Um, so, so yeah, really focus on those kinds of videos and, and also like you can also do videos. I did this as well on the channel showing a before and after. Yeah. Like, showing the website of what it looked like before you redesigned it and then and then showing like doing a walkthrough of how it looks like after you designed it and just like you know it's like a tour of that new website tell them what you did differently and then when your um, potential clients see that they can see the transformation and they'll be able to get more of a feeling of what it means to work with you all right Last couple of comments here. Yes. A personal, uh, Eddie says, a personal win for me this week was that I have finally sat down and outlined the steps we need to take to properly register, sorry, register our business and what platforms we will use. Nice. Nice. That is a major step. Great job, Eddie. That's always like, like a scary step too, is like <gasps> making it steps. official, right? But it's like, like once that's done, you know, now you can actually start the fun stuff, which is growing and just working on your business. What products are you going to offer products or services, developing those products or services and focusing on marketing. And it's just, you have a fun journey ahead of you, Betty. So excellent. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to end it here. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember we have that contest on our Facebook group the Creative Business Success Facebook group, which is that uh, thing going down at the bottom, the little scrolling banner. Um, we are giving away a one-year free subscription to Masterclass mm -hmm. and then um, a one-hour uh, coaching call with us on your topic of your choosing. And those are two different prizes. Two people can win. Um, all you have to do is comment on the post. Yeah. So you'll see that comment as or the post as soon as you enter in the Facebook group. It's pinned up to the top. Yep. And just answer the question that's in there. What's one thing that you'd love to learn that will help you grow your business? And once you comment on that post, you'll be entered. We're doing the draw, uh, not next in, week, but the following two. week, September 24th, 6 p.m. PST. So, yeah, make sure you enter. And thank you guys so much for sticking through. Yeah, the glitch. The issues. Once again, the issues. Um, yeah, thank you. You guys are awesome. We love, uh, we love this community we have here. So have a great evening, everyone. And we'll see you again next week, 6 p.m. PST Thursday for episode number 15. Yes. Bye for now. Bye.